What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Weston Smith here. Today we're going to be talking about scales, how to weigh fish, a few things you might be doing improperly when handling the fish and how to take the best care of them. Showcasing a wide variety of budgets and telling you which one is our favorite by the end of today's episode. Let's go. First things first, we got to catch a fish. Oh, he came off. Got him. There's a nice one for the scale on a bandito bug, ladies and gents. Check them out. I think this is the one I just missed. There we are. Let's put him on the scale and showcase a couple of these for y'all. Okay, you guys, so first and foremost, the fish's safety is number one on our list. We're going to continuously dunk this fish and give it some water in between putting it on each one of these scales to showcase the features. One of the things you do not want to do, and I'm going to show this just for demonstrative purposes, is you never want to hold the fish at an angle. So you see how I'm going to tilt the body? I'm going to do it just one time very quickly like that. You don't want to hold the fish like that. You want to hold them straight vertical, especially those heavier fish. Maybe with something real small, you can kind of get your pinky under there and you can do a little bit of that, but you want to be very cautious with the fish. If it's a very large fish, you want to go ahead and support the tail as well. While you've got your hand on the lips holding it firmly because they do like to shake. So this is just kind of an overall handling and weighing guide. Let's dunk them in the water real quick and then we're going to put them on each one of these scales and I'll tell you a little bit about the details of each. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to showcase our cheapest scale. This one is a Walmart scale. It doesn't even say the name on here. I'm just going to call it the Walmart brand. I want to say it is in the teens on prices, but I'll overlay that and I'll also provide links to all these scales in the description. So with this guy right here and that hook, what you need to do, you want to go right up in here under the lip with this hook. And where that gets a little sketchy is the fact that if these fish start to shake, they can come off of this style scale much easier than the other two we're going to showcase. So this one is the cheapest. I've even had this connector piece break on me in the past. So this is probably the first scale you might pick up something easy. You can just run to the store and grab it. I always recommend having a scale with you. You never know when you're going to catch your PB, the biggest fish you've ever brought to the bank or on the boat, kayak, etc. So I always recommend having a scale with you. Trust me, if you don't have a scale on you and you try to tell somebody it's a double digit, they're not going to believe you and they're going to say, nah, it looks more like eight. So just have that scale with you handy. Never know what could happen. All three of these scales are rated for up to 50 pounds. I believe the Guggen Squad one goes up to 55 and they also show measurements for kilograms. I just want to share with you the best way to get these fish weighed and back in the water. So we got the first one out of the water, turned on the scale. It shows zero. You always want to make sure it's zeroed out. And I'm going to put this hook right up through the gill so the scale is zeroed out. Now I'm going to hold the fish up here. Now this is where it gets sketchy with these hooks. If the fish shakes, it can come off the scale. Okay, this one weighs two pounds, seven ounces, and there's 16 ounces in a pound. So this one's right there at two and a half. A great quality fish that locks in and it beeps at you. So this is a great scale for getting started. But again, if you're weighing this fish, and let's say you're weighing it up here, and you're like, oh, check out this five pounder, etc. And then he flops off, you can really hurt the fish. And so you always wanna make sure when weighing on a scale like this with just a hook that doesn't clamp down, that you're keeping that fish low to the ground so you're not gonna harm the fish if something bad does happen. So two pounds, seven ounce, that is the Walmart scale. All right, buddy, thank you so much for being the guinea pig. We're gonna get you back in there. The crowd does thank you. Go ahead and drop a comment for Billy right here saying thank you. We will see you next time, sir. Oh, that's a good one. All right. There we go. Right up there around Weston's first one. Two pounds, seven ounces. Go. Guys, so next up is the Guggen Squad scale. Very compact, easy to fit in the bag, just like that first one. And it goes for $29.99. And you guys can also grab this at a discount with code Weston at checkout on the Guggen Squad website. And what we like about these types of scales is there's actually a clamp to clamp onto the lower lip here. Lock it in there. One of the great features about this thing is it's clamped down and the fish isn't going anywhere. Also, this is just a little bit easier for handling certain fish, like let's say saltwater species or something that's a little bit more toothy than a bass. So this is the Guggen Squad option. Fantastic scale for the money. Drag was loose. This last one is by Rapala. This guy goes for about $50, and it's gonna take up a little bit more room in your bag. There's no way to kind of fold it down, but it is probably the easiest to use. There's literally one button on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. This scale we've had for the longest amount of time. It has been a workhorse, but this thing is as easy as one, two, three. So what you do is you just pull on these and it opens up, close it on the fish's lips, and that fish is not going anywhere. We've used this to weigh peacock bass, which are known for thrashing. We've used it on countless largemouth bass. Uh, again, up to 50 pounds, and this is how easy it is. You get your fish out of the water, you go ahead and toss it on the scale, locked, and is not going anywhere. And this one doesn't beep at you, it just kind of settles but it's showing again that two and a half pound mark. So a great quality fish out of a little bank spot. 
This one is probably the most user friendly just because it's only gonna require one hand. If you're one hand on the scale, you can go ahead and pull to release. Simple as that. It is the most expensive, but after you've seen a comparison of all three, you can choose which one is right for you. And that's really what this video is all about. All right guys, so there you have it, showcasing and using our top three picks when it comes to scales for weighing fish in 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed it, got some value out of it, learned a couple things, and are safe with your catches. Weigh those things, get them back, let them go, let them grow, you guys. We'll catch y'all on the next one. See ya. <gasps>